30, yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? I'm, 20, I'm 23 years of age. I started doing music back when I was younger and found the passion for it. I picked it up when I was 13. I took it serious then. Uh, I moved out of St. Louis with my mom and my little brother towards uh, Atlanta to, you know what I'm saying, get a fresh start because of what was going on in Lou. And, you know, I've been on the road ever since. And I've just been, you know, trying to get my craft better, you know what I'm saying, progress way more than what I was when I was starting. Always. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for being a guest here on Music Cap. We are um, just uh, excited to interview you. Uh, what I want to ask is, what is your biggest influence on your music? Who is your biggest influencer? My biggest influencer? I actually feel like no one is a influence of anything because each and every individual has put out a bad influence out in some of their life. So I feel like you're, you're your own influence. It's either you're going to yeah. feed the positivity out there or you're going to feed the negative things out there. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like everybody is their own influencer. Okay, okay. I can dig that. I can dig that. Okay. So, so when you actually say influence, I like how you just uh, did that and explained that. But yeah. I really like, it. I was like how you actually take the influence that you have put out, like the negative and the positive. And how do you actually put that in play of your music? Of the situations that I've been in, I go through things. We we well, all we all go through things. Right, yes. my point exactly. <laughs> so it's, it's 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 just a day a day to day cycle. You know what I'm saying? You see everything, the situations that you go through is is a is a rhythm. If you look at it like this, whatever situation that you go through, it's a sign. It's a it's a purpose. You know what I'm saying? God is putting this in your face so you can know what's going on right then and there. And then you can see that people that you call your, your partners, your friends, you can see how they move in shady, snake. That's even right, though, yes. Mm-hmm. Very so true. Yep. Your own family can do you dirty, snake, and you know what I'm saying, sneaky ways. You you seeing that. You, you watch this every day, so why not express your emotions and the music and don't care about how another individual feel about it when it's factual. A person can only get mad because it's facts. When it don't yes. matter, mm-hmm. they won't get mad. Yep. They won't get upset. Right. That's right. That's preaching. That's right. You're preaching gospel now. Watch <laughs> out now. You're going to have to, I'm have to play, take in the show. Hit you in the A flat now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and I like, I like how you said that, you know, even family, you know, can, can, can be yeah. um, that large really. impact on you or it can break you, you know. So um, tell me this. Does your, um, does your fans play a big part of of, of who you are today, you know, like, do you know, tell us a little bit more about, like, like what, what you're doing for your fans here. Um, so I, I do feel like that, that I, don't, I don't like to call them my fans. I like to call them my family and supporters. There you go. That's what I meant. So, because it's like, it's like when you call, when you, when you say the people that support you, because it's just like we saying, like, oh, our family that support us, like, even you guys, y'all doing something for yourself, and it's like, y'all family, Probably are fans, but really they support it, and you don't want to just put right. that fan mm-hmm. on them because everybody say that. I would, I would, I would like to consider my supporters as my family and the ones that want to see me conquer and succeed, whatever I'm doing. Right. There you go. You know, this music thing, you know what I'm saying? So I, I, I try to, I try to, you know, uh, I try to help them, you know, realize. Or I want them to listen to my music and hopefully feel whatever situation they just went through. That they feel in my music, like I got a bad mm-hmm. tendency of, of of recording music of things that never ha- that haven't happened yet, but soon to happen. Then, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. So I try to go off on you know big, uh, you know similarities on what's going on now, and not the, the not the BS that everybody else talk about. I want to be right. different. I want you to know what I'm rapping right now is real life material, and goddamn me, you can only you can only you can only love it or you can hate it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I want you to understand. I want the music that I put out want to be related. You know what I'm saying? So right. How are you? Right. I hear you. I hear you, man. There's a lot of rappers out here rapping about like you know fake stuff, stuff that ain't never yeah. ever happened to them or whatever like that. And definitely, people can't relate to that. But once you put your life story into your music, now we can listen to it. Now we can feel it. Now we can be like, that okay, point. we hear, we feel where this brother is coming from. It's that in point. his music. So I, I can, I can definitely relate to that. I can definitely. So when you actually like found your voice, and like I said, when you started off doing this music, and then you actually found your voice in that music, in that lane, you know what I'm saying? Are you able to get that charismatic, you know, that voice to come out on stage and pop? 
So that way, when you're every word that a person actually hanging on every single word, and they be up there in the honors, I can say, hey, I, I'm a music person too, man. I'm an artist as well. Right. So I know you get that moment, you get that, you get in the crowd, you pump it like, you ever like, like, this is my life, this is my yeah. story, my story. Like, I'm up there with you, I'm up there living that life yeah. with you. And yeah, so, and I love how you express that, you know, that's your family, because that's right, it is family, because people gonna understand, man, we all in this together. And right. by your, you know, dropping your music, it help it lift people up, you know, let them give them an idea or a way or avenue out of things. Right. So, so like I'm gonna say then, so when you actually found your voice, yeah. and you was doing your crap, doing your songs, what actually like took you and you said, you know what, I'm actually <laughs> good at this, you know, man, you know what, people really digging this, you know what man. I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> you heard me? Yeah. Hey, we I'm you know, glad we're talking about this right there, because you know. Man. So tell me about that moment when you actually find out, you know, this is it. This is for me. Man, every cent, like, okay, so the thing is, right, I started I started recording my own music. I, the first mic I had was a little Samsung, a little USB that you plug inside the mic. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I, yeah exactly. At a young age, I was already trying to record my own music. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to do what everybody else was doing, and I want to learn it myself. So when, as the time grew and I upgraded, you know, equipment, I'd be in the garage and I, I just I start freestyling on the beat and I get yeah, yeah. I like the way I said that. We're going to go. <laughs> <laughs> right. I melodies up, you know what I'm saying? I switch the melodies up to a harmonizing. Then I can go back down to a, you know what I'm saying? A different. A, you know, I'm just I'm just an alternative person. Like I love to be different. Yeah. Everything that you know it is with me in the music, I want to be different. You know what I'm saying? I don't want right. when a person when an individual look at me, they be like, oh yeah, he's actually different. You know what I'm saying? Even though he's he he might be, you know, he he, you know, uh probably in the streets or something, but he's really intellectual. They cannot take see they fail to realize that us black men, as long as we, you know, uh study, study the mind and learn more and more, they cannot knock us off our pivot. You know what I'm saying? That's so they can right. only that's right. They can only judge us about color. You know what I'm saying? You know, you Let's be real. They can only tell us about color, but when we start mm-hmm. speaking them intellectual words, you know? yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> and they coming out with uh, you know different terminologies. You no, know, they'd be like, uh-huh. oh, that player is very you know up there. Yes, Lord. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, you know, no judge a book by its cover, but I'm always yeah, gonna right. try with, with any situation that I get through. Yes, Lord. And yes, yes, and, and bring me to my next point. So when you do your shows or when you're around people, like you just said, how people you have met. You have you show them that you're intelligent or whatever. So do you find yourself adapting to your environment? Yes. Yes, Lord. Yes. Yes. I feel like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel you like got I'm, to adapt. I'm learning. I'm learning more. I love to learn. I, I, I love to see that. Thing. I love to recap my videos on when I used to rec- uh, like when I used to perform or when I used mm-hmm. to record. I see that how I was then and then recap about how how I am now. It makes me feel mm-hmm. so much better. The How growth you grown, is there. Yep. yep, the growth is yep. there. You know what I'm saying? So yep. I love it. I love it. Of course, of course. Do you do you ever look back on your old music and be like, man, I should have done that, man. I should have, you know what I'm saying? I should have dropped this beat with that, you know? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, bro, bro, even, not even the beat. I go back to my old music and be like, bro, this is hard. I even know to me, I feel like, even though to me, I'm like, they probably not listen to that, but I realize that I cannot start, I cannot, you know, start make like, I cannot make music for everybody else. You know, so I have to make music for me because yeah. music yeah. in your own emotion. When you start mm-hmm. thinking about oh, what they like, oh, is this that was that is this what they want to hear? Then they ain't gonna want to hear it. That's you right. know what I'm saying? Right. So right. when I go back to my old music, I'm like, oh my god, this is so relatable now. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Yeah. Like, but then again, I'd be like, well, the sound quality is not on how it is how I'm recording now. So I, it's like I gotta go find different laptops of what I recorded on with that record and try to go back and put it on another draw, a doll, and try mm-hmm. to mix and master. It. So it's too much. I just feel like you know what I'm saying. Maybe it's not to be for it to be pushed out. Maybe God telling me that you know what I'm saying you can make something way better. You know what right. I'm saying? Right, get better. Okay. But yeah. I like what you just said that too, because like you said, you I like how you represent and you understand your audience as well. You know what I'm saying? And also understand yourself, but you're your own audience too. Mm-hmm. You know, like I said, like you just said, you know, this record may not might not be out for anybody, but that record might gave you something for you to actually that you can expand on, actually come up with four or five different other records <laughs> that for us right. to actually hear. You know? Right. So so I love how you actually, you know, explain that and actually capture that. So what about this? Like, you know, when you're doing your old track, some of that when you'd be like, man, you know what? That was a hard behind verse right there. You yeah. know what? 
man, I, that right there won't have to be my new chorus to my new song. So, you oh, know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So, so sure. when you're in that writing mode, you know what I'm saying, you, that, yeah. you know, that, that, that happens to you. How do you capture that? Do you capture it right there in the moment? So are you on the phone like, man, I got to write this out right here and now? Or does you actually actually take time and actually, like, really plot out your storyline that actually when it comes to... Uh, so, comes basically, to so basically, how I do it, bro, is... The, Basically, like I said, I, I I I invested in all my equipment. So when I go inside my studio booth, and I just I start looking up on beats on YouTube and things like that, I always I always have a preset of my doll open with the preset I already used to use with my voice and things like that. So when mm-hmm. I hear a beat, I start freestyling or I start humming the melodies of every instrument that I hear inside the beat. You know what I'm saying? All right, oh, yeah. Yeah, I understand that. Yeah, so that's how I get the uh, you know, the perspective of whatever story or book that I'm about to publish. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I like I said like that. You that's right. Yeah, that's right. That's true. That's what there you go. Hey, I'm a producer and writer as well, so I know exactly <laughs> what you're right. speaking, brother. Yeah, so so it's and this to a lot of individuals that also do music. It's better I mean, you can always write. But when you're freestyling, it comes out way better than how it will come out when you're writing and reading it from the phone. Yes. Mm-hmm. yes. So that's how, that's how I learned with, that's how I even learned about my melodies and how I switched my sound up. Just messing with my vocals and messing with the pitches of auto-tune and things like that. There you, you go. Know? There you go. So l- let me ask you, with all the, you know, we make it look easy. You make it look easy. For anybody out there that's wanting to rap, that's wanting to follow in your shoes, of course, you've been there, you've done that, you went through your obstacles, you went through your hardships, so now it looks easy to any anyone looking in. How did you overcome your obstacles, your, you know, your, your what, what do they say, trials and tribulations in this industry that you're in now? I stayed to myself. You know, hey. I, I, you know I, I stayed to myself and I boxed myself in, you know, yeah. and, it been a lot of things, like even my own people, my family be like, hey, you heard such and such new record. No, I have not. I've been trying to work, work on mine <laughs> so I can give the same thing mm-hmm. to me. You know what I'm saying? So I haven't actually didn't, I didn't, I don't check a lot of, in the, in the, you know what I'm saying, main artistry, uh, artists out because I'm trying to get where they are now. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. If I, if, you know, I seclude myself inside a box and I be in the studio 90 going north. I probably don't even go to sleep because I want to make so much of a crazy hit that I'll be up there all night working on it. I should put myself in a box and try to, you know, make some. I want, I want people to know that I'm, I'm not just doing this for nothing. This is not a hobby to me. This is something that actually helps me day to day, help me with anxiety, do yes. with depression, help me to speak out because I am a, I'm a closed, like I, I am a closed book. I'm not an open book. You see a lot of interviews say I'm an open book. Ask me anything, but really, when on the one on one talk, when come personal things, I'm, I'm, you know, I shut myself away from the world. You hear me? Mm-hmm. Because I feel like nobody will understand me how I express it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So, I, tell you, I can't talk to you. Just listen to my music. I'm saying everything mm-hmm. right there. Right there, yeah. in your music. Right. Yeah. So, I like how you actually express that, too, now, in your music. <laughs> now, of course, you have, like, different other genres of music, too, as well. Right. So, besides, you know, the hip-hop, the uh, the rap, the everything else on that one, is there another genre of music that you kind of gravitate to that kind of help get you into a different type of zone? Or that you actually embody, or like, you know what? You know, that's a cool lick right that one. I Man, I would love to use this in my track, stuff like that one. So, what are some of your other favorite genre of music that actually, you know, maybe get you to a different mindset? Uh, R and B, but I'm alternative. So if yeah. I feel like, I, but if I see, but like, I like, I love, I love this question because I love to say that I'm actually alternative, and I know I can put my mind to anything that I want to do. So if I want to yeah. go to pop. My deck status, man, put me there. All I gotta right. do is study, yeah, all I gotta do is just study the notes. That's all yes. you're doing. So, you know, when you study the notes of whatever melody that you wanna do and wanna learn more, you gonna achieve it. You know, because at first, at first, I would just, you know, uh, I was more of, I say, uh, a lot of individuals don't know who this artist is, but he's his name Star Lido, and Star Lido basically talks about, you know life lead situations and things like that, but he actually raps it, you know, like how Tupac and Ice Cube was actually doing. You know, I, I was in that type of uh, style at first, but then I realized that, you know, I want to be different. Everybody hear this already. Let's put it in a harmonizing tone so they can be like, oh, he got a, he's saying, he's saying what's facts, but he put it in his own melody. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I go beyond that. 
All right. So I love how you talk about, you know, the melodies. Like I said, I'm, I'm going to give you a little inside of me. I'm a jazz musician, so I play sax. Oh. But I'm a producer as well. I do them tracks, too. So I'll yeah, drop that later on. You know, we'll talk about yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, right. you know, that. Yeah, yeah. You know, I got, I got some fire for it. I got something for it. Yes, okay. Anyway, but, you know, but when you talk about those melodies and things like that, when, you know, it's always constantly in your mind and going on a different vibe or something like that. So once you hear it and you're like, man, and you catch like that right there, it's going to be fire. And then let's say you record it and then you give it out that one. And then you play it to your partner and your team. And your team be like, nah, man, that's boo boo. How do you have to come back from that, man? I know it's gonna be a situation where your team be like, you be like, man, that's a fire, man. Trust this fire with that one. But your team, you know, your team ain't gonna let you down, but your team be like, nah, I don't think about that, man. You need to go back and work on that one. So how do you actually take that type of criticism, not criticism, but constructive idea, and how do you flip that? You know? Yeah, I, I have yeah. yeah, so I have I have been in that. So what I do is this how I do I'm like, okay. All right, so what is it? I, I ask them, what is it about it you like? What is it about it? You're not writing what you the that I'm putting it in, but you're not you're not hearing what the words that I'm you know saying I'm, I'm putting out there. So let me replay right. this track again for you. As a matter of fact, right. you to be so you can hear it. For real. So let me put it in so you can hear everything that I had to let you get that one, brother. I know how it is. I know how it is. <laughs> For real. It, it, it's not. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> I mean, let's For real, it. bro. Yeah, exactly. Right, right. So, so with that being said, do you have, um, with your strong support, I know how they say keep your, your friends close and keep your enemies closer or whatever like that. So is your circle right. really, you know, the small, you, you have those who you trust to be in your little circle, you know what I'm saying? That you're like, okay, I'm going to play my music to them because I know they're going to support me, you know, and, and my music, they're going to know what I'm coming from and they're going to know what the lyrics I play or whatever like that. Cause I mean, you know, you play it to some people. Not everyone's gonna like your music. You gonna have those well, who gonna be like, man, of course, of course. man, I don't like that. Or you gonna have right. those who gonna be like, man, that's fire. Mm -hmm. You know, not right. every, not, music's not for everybody. So I mean, well, but you then you gonna have those who be like, oh, okay, well, you know, he's giving a message out, and you just not listening to that message. You know what I'm right. saying? So that's the reason why you're not liking that music. So I feel you on right. that one. So you're like, hey, let me play this for you again. <laughs> you know, you ain't listening to what I'm trying to tell you. You know, so let me play it to you and let me key the points that I want you to look at. You know right. what I'm saying? Right, right, <laughs> right. So, so what do we have in line for? What is in the future that we can look for in your music? What do you have for us? Man, the future can look... Uh, the Right now, can only explain on what I'm what I'm coming for. I'm coming for everything, and I feel like I deserve everything. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, we all I, do. You correct? I just uh, I just did a remix to the uh track star, the the track star junk by Mooski. I really love that vibe, but I put it in my own melody, so I can't wait till y'all hear that. You know what I'm saying? Boy, it's right. a lot. Of albums coming, new singles going to drop. You know, I got a new single on the way as well. Uh, we don't got a specific date. But we're gonna drop it though for Shelly. So All right. I got a lot of work, a lot of a lot of I'm trying to build my fan base. I'm trying to build, you know, uh, you know, I'm trying to build a lot of, you know, out of the country, I say out of the country type of international. Uh, you know, you know, uh, we're trying to go international. <laughs> That's what you're trying to go. I got your word. I'm gonna go trying to go international. Yeah, right. international. Right. For real, I want to go international. I want to network with a lot of individuals. I want to, I want everybody to see me like, oh wow, he, oh he over here, he in the UK. Oh yeah, he in Europe. Yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> right, right. I want to right. be everywhere. You know what I'm saying? But you doing Even it. Even if I'm a brand it. ambassador. All right. You doing it. But as you just said, and you know this, man, music transcends. Okay. Right. It transcends everywhere. It, it hits that strong core, you know, with everybody. And I love how you just said that. I like how you keep your mind open. And you setting your goals high, because that's how it has to be. Because we all know they love us over there overseas, man. They love our music, man. They love to be a part of that. They love us Americans, but they love mostly our hip hop. They love our R and B. They love our soul and how yeah. we actually express it and put it on wax. So yeah. yes, you will go international. Yeah, Ain't about you know, you know, if you try, no, you're gonna go international. <laughs> I would say that right now. I can, just, right. I can, I, can I feel, I feel your vibe and your love right now, brother. You know what I'm saying? 
So I, I know you're passionate, and I, I know you're going to get there. Definitely and do that. Uh, my you question is that when you actually, yeah, for real, that's love. So when you actually, you know, building your record, you know what I'm saying? And then you're like, okay, man, you know what? Dude, sometimes like a different like encounter or interaction takes you to a whole nother different vibe uh, when you're in your studio and when you're working, you know? Yeah, you know what I mean? Like like you start out the day like, you know, I need to go work on this track right here, you know? And then all of a sudden you hear this like, whoa, wait a minute, that's going to take me off to a whole nother different yeah. record. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You heard me? So you have to like, you know, stop what you're doing and capture that moment like that. Uh, what's like one of your tracks right now that actually, you know, embodiment that after that moment or that type of situation? I know you got one. Which one of those uh, tracks right now? I say right now it's Toxic. You know? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. It's that one. It's day to day. Like, who, who don't, anything is toxic. Friends toxic. Relationship toxic. Family toxic. Like, everything. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Toxic is the real live banger that a lot of individuals can put in their own perspective way. There you yeah. go. It's just the name of it. Yeah. <laughs> it's just the name of it. It's like, there yeah. you go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. So tell us, where can anyone who is watching this uh, and tuning in, where can we find you at? You can Google me. I'm on Spotify. <laughs> Looney, I'm on Spotify, Looney Wild, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Pandora iTunes music, Amazon, I'm everywhere. There you Perfect. go. Perfect. There you go. Well, Looney Wild, man. So I got a question, man. You know, as we in this, you know, this world, in this life, you know what I'm saying? Who would you like to do that collaboration with? Lil Wayne. There it is. You know what? And I know why did I know? There it is. I, I, just, I feel that, I feel that dirty self in you. I, I feel you. I can see it. I can see it. All right, there you go. Wayne. Well, thank you so much for being on Music Cap. I can't appreciate you enough and everything that you're doing. I see you going far. I see you going national. It's it's only in time. It's in the it's in your cards right now. It's in your cards. You ain't even got to do nothing. It's already thank there. But thank, thank you, you so much for your time. Thank you so much, so much for being on the show. And I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for having me. And uh, uh, thank you for being here, brother. And Looney, one love, man. Looney, hey, we will uh, we will see you in Kansas City here in a couple weeks. Yes, Lord. All right, brother. All right. Well, uh, All thanks, right, brother. thanks to Willie and Naya and uh, Looney Wild. Thank you for doing this, brother. No Good problem. stuff. Awesome. Well, uh, I, I I I will talk to you guys next week, and uh, Looney, I will talk to you uh, next week as well. Thank you, okay. sir. Okay. Appreciate it, guys. There they go. That is Music Cap this week. And uh, you can get more information on Green Eyes Music Cap over there on Facebook. Thanks for listening to us here on Spotify and also Talk Shoe as well. And we are going to be back here in just a few seconds here on 990 WBOB.